afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome, welcome to another exciting and everything amazing propaganda cast. Me, your host, Imperial Dane, Master of Propaganda, here of Sight Defender over the Fatherland, off here to two versus two on rails and metals. In the south, it's Olvadi and Fire and Terror fighting for the Soviet Union, socialism, Comrade Stalin. Rolling out here with the Fifth Guards mechanized corps in the north, it is Imperial Dane himself and CPU EC fighting for the Wehrmacht, Germany, Deutschland. Taking on the role here of the. Well, let's just say. Um, third Panzer Division. We got here armored assault tactics, got motor and mechanized support with NKVD, rather disruption already chosen here for fire and terror with marts, mines and a tank grenade, a few guards and infantry bulletins versus German infantry encirclement, Jaeger infantry, more Jaeger infantry, festering armor and lightning wall with infantry, Panzerfaust mines and some elite troops there for me. We got Pioneers coming these for me, and we got the same here for CPC. Actually, we got Pioneers, MD42, and a sniper. An interesting choice over the Soviets. Possibly an expectation of it, or something else there. Possibly Penal Troopers there from one of the players. And Olvadi's definitely going for that by the looks of it. In the West, Fine Terror, though, moving up here with a conscript and Maxim on the way there. Build. So things will certainly get heated up here. Olvadi is going for sniper himself. There's going to be sniper duels on the eastern side as machine guns blaze away on the west side. MD4 to Ming up. Pioneers occupying the house. Gunner is going down the center. Here's Pioneers. MD4 to Ming up here. Just in case he's trying to rush up here. I want the machine gun ready to sort of confront any Bolsheviks. Gunner is moving up here. Parts able to resist here. But also in case you know things get a bit more dice since he's used the east side. I can then quickly move the Gunner is up there to provide backup to him. Gonna just bring up the fact to assist here. As we can see, Fanta is going to move eastwards towards CPU's position. Of course, gonna be shifting in more gunners and the MD42 will try and haul out of the house but further back up here around the center as well. They're constantly rushing in. More comfortable there for Fine Terror, Gunners or oh, maximum forward there for Fine Terror as well. Pioneer sending further south for T. And we got a bit more further scrimmage. We've now got the snap on the way there for Olvadi and CPU's is on the way. Gone for German infantry, I'm calling it in the maxim. And these are trying to slowly pressure in the flank of Soviets. We got the MD4 is moving in the MD42 on the way as well. So we all got here some aggressive fighting around the eastern house as both sides are trying to lay claim to it for the respective armies. Max and being suppressed, slowly bled out. Snarber hanging back here. Very close it seems there for CPU easy. Up here, and is popping into the ship, possibly to buy time. Since I'm just going to quickly try and focus on when we get a wipe here. And is sort of quickly being forced out. MD42 rider there, we got the sniper moving up two kills so far there for Olvadi. I imagine CPU is going to be more cautious with the sniper though. With Fine Terror going for NKVD, he could have listened to it, into it, and told his teammate that his opponent does have a sniper, and which I imagine, considering these are, you know, more regular teammates, I imagine he would have done that. At least that, if well, he hasn't, it's a bit of an oversight. Sniper here, the waiting out, and there you go, gets the snipers. Apparently, Olvadi wasn't aware, had forgotten, or Fine Terror didn't hear it or didn't tell it. Either way though. That worked out quite well there for CPU. A bit of a blow to the Soviets there. Sniper down pretty rapidly. We'll have to see tries another sniper. We got Pimentables out there, but right now Olvadi is in a very sticky position there, having lost his sniper and thusly a lot of manpower in the early game. More going to lose away there for CPU. He's going to lose something erratic as Olvadi, despite the loss of the sniper, despite the German sniper, is pushing onwards for the Soviet Union in the center west here. We got scrambling between me and Fine Terror. They're going to need to retreat. They're about to get wiped out. MD42 joining in there. And we got more pioneers away for me to help build up the like to make a nice company. We try and hit the other pioneers forward close to the front line doing work there. Beamer was in hot pursuit here in the east. Gun Lee's now there holding them back. MD42 setting up as well there for CPU Easy. Another sniper on the way there for Olvadi. MD42 on the conscript. Pioneers flanking in there. Fresh push there by Fire and Terror. Can't get pushed back here by the Gunnadies. More moving up. And troops are being routed. Back here we got the Lactimek Ice Company going for me. Gunnadies reinforcing. Back here, Gunnadies setting up this rope of CPU has been quickly reinforced. All body and CPU is so far without doctrines. Without plans. She's on the fire from the gun. He's got the sniper joining in there. We've got another sniper out here for Olvadi. This time he's going to be a lot more cautious with it. He's going to try and bait out the German one, I imagine, and hit it very hard. Up here, Pioneers is country. That's going to be a win there for the conscripts. He's got to try and attempt flank here to hit the car watch. We've got a Soviet force in there from Fire and Terror with actual fire involved. I'm going to have to retreat here. 
Have we got an info joining in for CPUC flanking in the third force here from Flying Terror. Rough grenade off as well. And the upper rough grenade there doesn't quite take out the max, but it is close, it is close. And there you go, get a wipe on it. At the same time, though, we got Fine Terror there pushing through an exposed left flank there. Good read on him to go straight for my fuel point. That's going to force me to diverse forces here. And Fine Terror man to grab back the other Maxim here. Though I think that is possible. No, not at the cost of engineer squad. The sniper opening up here. Having, I imagine, gotten rid of CPU sniper there. Telling the thing is just a bit around. We got two taking Norfolk here to deal with Fine Terror's aggressive harassment. harassment. And we got the to do like the Panther Spivak joining in here in the east. Nothing further going on. Take up done, but no sign of anything further. He might be planning to go straight for tier three. And we got Jaeger in from the CPU EC opening up for ambush camouflage, which he's adding to the machine guns. Very good. Nothing else further added as of yet. And there we go. Final doctor chosen his mechanized support tactics, which is very popular at the moment, I feel, and with Soviet players, particularly they're going double for the ISU 152. Machine gun holding out there, ambushed up. Note the way he's sort of ordering it to fire. He's hoping to catch snow with and take it out in a burst since that's actually possible. It's a bit tricky, but it is possible. The Vickers machine guns work a lot better for that though since they do have more damage overall per shot. So ambush camouflage combined with the Vickers machine, you can really kill some allied snipers. Pioneers from other two moving in there as well. Zooming up in the flank, and you four two remaining in hiding there. The Got the penal two moving up the tank rifle, but also very low on health. And the two directly ends up doing some heavy damage there as they cross in some really exposed positions. Snub also opening up, and of course, with the anti tank penal two was routed. The two two goes in on the hunt here, sensing an opportunity at least to get a wipe somewhere. If not on the damn sniper, at least on the anti tank penal troops, which would certainly hurt old body, but also no save further vehicles and armor some problems here in the west got a big push in here from fine terror as my forces are too scattered and i'm too focused on the two to two a bit like a pats so that's going to be a bit of a mess there but right here though gets the penal triple score there that is a bit of manpower ammunition is gone so the way that worked out slightly well and we got here comments our command squad up for fine terror we got a big push into the west i'm gonna have to counter attack here again because it was too focused on the two to two this happens obviously this wasn't exactly without a uh, cost there for me getting rid of those penal troopers. And these are routed, we got these some veteran squad is going up. At least looking to flank in rather than just trying to attack head on into Fronto's forces, which is just exploding a lot of fire. I'm looking to flank behind to sort of maybe catch the maximum off guard, then that way do some heavy harm. Or body calling in Garson, very good. There we go. Continued flank attempt here. Machine gun back at base being hauled forward slowly. Storms is moving ahead here. A bit more risky since there's flame throws there in the cover, but still could pull off. Gunnery's jogging in now. And continue again deep flank here, try and get at the maxim. And they get suppressed because Otter Stuck is fatted up too far. Still fuel cut off here in the south machine gun hunting about there. He's waiting for that sniper. Might just happen here. Oh close! So close, and he gets it. There he goes. You can see their ambush machine guns are surprisingly viable sniper counters. And it's personally my favorite method of countering snipers. That's an ambushed MG42. Because that takes some you know, actual setup and skill. Yay, command squad out there for CPU easy. Gun these reinforcing. Comfortably ahead, we've got the NKVD come. Command or comes a command squad room MD4 tuning up as well. Then I'm gonna have to launch a larger counterattack to flush him out here. I was able to do some damage, it wasn't quite sustainable. So that's obviously that's good. I think CPUC is playing for either tier 3, tier 4 here. He's definitely skipping tier 2. Back here, we've got take of theirs. I'm gonna push for medium armor, troops reinforcing. Bit of slow progress here, and I obviously I kind of sort of have to figure out I might have to sort of try and switch up my tactics further. And go for a deeper flank to that we'll try not seat him because again he's quite dug in here i mean i could maybe leave some force to basically keep him occupied but long term the best attempt i think success is going to be in just trying to sneak through here because right here there's a big open gap so i can sort of get behind hit some of the more weaker exposed units like this maximum crew i could probably cause you know a bit more of a uh, collapse there attack of almost done gonna these reinforcing Summing up here that's from score leaders further down south here we got cpus versus elvada continue to find out we got more guards being brought up there very much standard Soviet stuff, getting a lot of guardsmen. 
as they are really, really effective with the DP light machine guns. There we go. Infantry and stuff. So we're going to go up in here just again to keep them occupied. Keep them sort of tied down. We can all see the CPUs so saved with a bit of forces here because of Olvadi still weak in the state after those sniper losses. Just sort of further just uh, put some pressure on the south flank. But again, I'm looking here to just sort of hit behind here and threaten the reef, causing fine terror to cancel others taking around or risk losing units to retreat fast. At which point, again, he doesn't lose as much, but you know, he loses ground. At the same time, pushing in here, so again, we got sort of. Southern flank going on there, can up again pressuring from the north to further keep them tied down, keep them occupied. We got the NKVD propaganda down there. Comms are those very much in hot retreat and storms are playing up behind. T single the way there for fire and terror, can they do standing about? Also worth noting, I managed to lay down this hell of mine down here. That's the amount I find. Usually getting down a few good early teller mines can be really crucial in having a good chance in a later game, in particular against you know, stopping a T 70 fast on AUC Mark III or a Stuart Light tank. Going here for the cover with the pioneers again, looking for weakening, you know, openings, weak spots, just you know, slicing in there and cutting off my opponent's resources and whatnot. Salty is losing a bit of speed. There's some forced retreat troops. We've got the support core going up there as schnell as possible. So if I then the grenadiers, CPU is those in ground here, and he was able to assist me, but it came at a cost there. Pioneers right in the face of the T semi light tank, grabbing the northern fuel point back. He's also going for his own support McCall. In fact, he'll be able to go for some armor faster than I was. Getting a support McCall there. Are they good work there so far by Fine Turn denying us fuel? And again, good work there by Fine Turn exposing my weaknesses on the left flank and exploiting them brutally. That's definitely what you'll be doing as the Soviets. Max on the way there for Ulvadi. So let's back take that for the support, support weapon Camponier. Might be he's just going to go for the ISU 152 stall, leaving Fine Turn to push more regular armor until then. Bit risky there, to be honest, but I mean, if it works out, it works out because the ele or the ISU is basically just a better elephant since it can murder infantry as well as armor. So, I mean, you know, it makes sense. All the way, so Palmer Corps done. I can't quite go for anything yet. I could go for an Osprey, I could go for Stug for something faster, and sort of that way pressure my opponent a bit swiftly, or I could just try and stall for the Panzer for a bit longer. Sort of depends on what I feel like here, though. I might end up going for the Osprey. So to just put pressure on the infantry and any sort of light vehicles a bit faster. Obviously moving up here, gonna on the advance, pioneers backing up, got minesweepers because I'm obviously taking precautions here against fine terror mining up a lot of stuff since he's held held his area for quite some time, so it wouldn't be completely out of place for him to do. And I like to go for the stook here, which is also makes a lot of sense really. There we go, Pantafort here for CPU easy. And the third Panzer the Sean Pioneers coming easy in the west. Looks like he's landing up from Salton there. Go pop a Salton hole there for extra damage and whatnot. Quickly causing a lot of damage here very rapidly to find terrorist forces here who certainly cannot manage this inspired German infantry. But I probably should get these forces moving as well. They're a bit forgetful there. Pioneers going to do moving up here as well. Comes moving into counterattack. Got the pencil moving up. These packed up with the MD42 guard from holding the house. Stumke shoots almost done. There you go. Comes taking heavy damage from the Gunnadies though. There's an awful lot of firing at the Gunnadies as well. Stormtroopers waiting to be reinforced. Stug almost done. In this case, I'm then clearly more worried about T-70s, but also just the possibility of a you know, fast armor rush there from a the certain opponent. There you go. Olvati has all of a sudden just gone for that. He's not going to stall for the ISU. He's going to try and take up rapidly. I would say that's definitely a better move. So thumbs up there to Olvati. we got Kamskath here versus Pioneer. He's going to use Jaeger Command Squad here in the east. Olvati's going to need to treat that fast before that gets wiped. Kamskath almost taken out here in the center. Straight into the maximum with my Grenadiers. MG4 to those being hold forts, that is very good. Nice Tilvadi is being routed once more. He's almost done with that. He could push out a fast T for the first from six, of course he might want to go for something else. Stu coming back. Back here, troops reinforcing and healing up a bit there thanks to the veteran school leader's ability to just apply field first aid for free. Pioneers moving westwards. Got to push you for the cutoff point there again. Keeping up pressure there on the Bolsheviks. MG4 and you sitting up there for Vardy. Big counter attack here from Fire and Terror switching around the center trying to push into the west again here against me. Pioneers routed as well. Gundy's reinforcing. Stormtroopers are on the move again for the fatherland. Can't because they're routing the Pioneers. Field gun being hauled forward here by Fire and Terror's experienced gun crews. Well, less than experienced at the moment, but I'm sure that'll come. 
Machine gun flying away there, slowly approaching veteran C2. Down here in the south, got Kennedy's versus Engineers. Ambush camouflage being added, very good. Sehr good. Khan's coming up here again, exposing a weak flank there. Could add a pinmark machine to the Stug, to be honest. Veteran Kennedy's moving up, they've got the comfort in the way though. 315 versus 469. There we go, conscripts immediately routed. We got the Storms, they're looking to cause some chaos, going for some exposed support weapons. But I quickly caught out now with the main infantry. Another max on the way there for fire and turret to contain my infantry back here. He is not taking up as of yet. But I think he might consider doing that soon. Olvadi there is going for the T-34, 76, and I'm popping assault and hold again. Conch they're starting first up against much tougher stormtroopers. Gonna be pushing back the Commissar squad as well. Stug slowly moving ahead, T-54-76 on the way, note the T-70 got knocked out here previously, again, telemines can do a lot for the Wehrmacht, I'd almost say they are incredibly crucial for the Wehrmacht to have a really good chance, since they represent one of your best chances of doing some serious damage in sort of early mid-game. Back here, got another Sturm Gestrutz on the way, I am definitely quite White word there about enemy arm, in which case I want double strokes to sort of put them down. Also got a booby trap down there. Also very nice. Ends up only killing one, but only doing a lot of damage. And you can see they up with a full retreat. Storms so they need to retreat as well. There's just too many Soviets there. MD4 shooting up. Pioneers bring out as well. There's second Stug on the way, plus adding a mortar. A granat in there for a bit of additional artillery support, plus smoke screens to support assaults. Since as this goes on longer and longer, I'm going to need something extra there. Second Stug ready, at which point I definitely feel reasonably capable of dealing with most armor threats for now. T-54-76 on the right hand side, causing some collapse in CPUC, has got no armor and no anti-tank guns, meaning I'm likely going to have to move over my Stug because they've realized what's going on. So I'm a bit preoccupied right now with fire and terrorist assault here in the west. And before two current the flank there. Adding a pinwheel machine to the second stroke, as I've forgotten to do it on the first one. A bit sloppy there. Great hit here on the field gun. From the field gun, there you go. Machine gun here. I could pop and send the armor pistol rounds, probably should have, but by now it might be too late. And machine gun's focused on the maximum line. The car uh, comes there to pull ahead with a grenade. That's going to be a retreat there. Mortar though firing in here on the field gun over there. And we got Pioneers trying to flank in to cause a bit of chaos there, opening up for some maybe fresh pressure from the front. Another Panther for that there. And Olvadi's trying to spot, but they got laid down S mines around here. And there you go, white. S mines are also good. In fact, mines are just generally good for the Wehrmacht. If you know how to use them, he's calling us through here. Very nice work there to disrupt the fine chairs machine gun position. Second Panther for they're arriving. Gonna be stormtroopers getting ahead there. We got the Stugs ready to provide fire support as so well. It comes down to it. Yeah, command's got their flank in. Very nice. And wiping the Maxim. Now being here, could pop a smoke grenade with the air command squad to help them get away faster. And there you go, does it, but might just be able to get it out of there. Nice save there by CPU Easy. Thumbs up there. Maximum getting out manure as we got a big push in there. Stoops hanging back for now. Again, I could move up without proper up in both the machine guns. They could provide a bit of light and send from support. Which should not be scoffed at at all. And now I'm going for the flak panzer. Stoops moving ahead. They're troops reinforcing. We got the Panther Demon Engineers in the field gun here. Guardsmen also joining in the front. Veterans one of the game on the field gun. Nobody's actually using a camouflage on the field guns. Thumbs up that Olvadi. Not a lot of Sir players actually use this ability, thankfully, but uh, it can definitely be sneaky since that way you can sort of you know, pop up into a tank where your opponent isn't expecting it and it could hurt them quite a bit. The leaders moving ahead. Stormtroopers as well. Got the mortar there being hauled forward alongside the pioneers. Gonna need to retreat. Stoops are moving in. Just trying to cover. There you go. Flat panzer fierk effects my right. There you go. Ending a penalty machine to the second Sturmgeschütz. Going up here and 
Strange of the Espan for the spot being right smack dab in the middle of the map where they should be paying attention to it. They haven't, and it's actually been quite successful, and again, doing a lot of damage to the surveyors that way. Again, S mines are really good. People seem to think, like, the small signs are somehow a massive detriment, but again, they're kind of small, and in the heated moment, they might actually overlook them. I mean, S mines can be, again, quite effective in the right place. I can strongly recommend them. Stuk's hanging back there. He is being uh, routed. We got the T-54 coming in aggressively on the right flank. We got machine guns, guards, or uh, yeah, commands are holding up. We got a Stug on the way for CPUs. Clearly following my glorious example. Continuing through the center, at least attempting to. We got the Stugs there hanging back. We got the flag plants moving up. Causing a bit of route there, providing support there against or cover against enemy aircraft, since they do have a bit of that potentially. But not a lot in there. Go field gun directly providing my gun ideas. Close one, in fact, almost got a full wipe. That had been quite painful. Quite painful indeed. Stukes the moment watch there to assist uh, CPU if it comes down to it. Feel gun there being flanked by the flak panzer. Kennedy's joining in the front. T-54 from 6 away for fine terror now. Very good. Kennedy's playing the field from the other side. And there we go. We got a fragmentation bomb. I was trying to catch here. Yeah, obviously, that was a bit of a boat attempt, I think two boats in fact, ends up us wasting munitions, but it happens. Had it worked, of course, it would have been amazing, but it didn't, so it's just a waste. More to the guns in the far way there, Stuk's hanging back. Going for some panzer gun leader, adding up to a five infantry squad level there. And there you go, ambush, ace little machine in there, tang into the end, KVD commas are there. Tang through him very, very rapidly. Another push being lined up. We got a fuel cache down the calf point there from Olvadi. He's not far off me able to at least get parts of the ICU ready there. I mean, he's somewhat close to the fuel, but manpower wise, it's a bit longer to go. But command point wise, he's definitely not far off. Transforming in. Modifying the Maxim. Maxim there, shattered by the Pashis. Under the command of CPU Easy, T Fit Force is moving ahead here. Pre engaging against the Panzer form, we got totally called in again. Stu joining in the front as well. T Fit Force from 6 moving eastwards, I probably should get my Stu's moving to assist here as well. Flat Panzer moving westwards from the to put more pressure on the left flank, maybe try and hit here, get around them. Stu still not moving. I should really should get them moving. So I'm probably too preoccupied with my little maneuver here on the far left. Exposing a uh, slightly over focus there. A slight grasp of the overall map situation, which is not something you want to be doing in a 2 versus 2 match, to be honest. Yeah, command squad leading on the guardsmen. Moving up west for the stormtroopers. Kind of these moving in. Flak pants ready and reserve to repulse anything. But there you go. Fine Terra and Almadi are really pulling together here for something. And I'm finally getting the Stu's moving. Finally. That was definitely a bit too slow there from my side. Oh dear, he lost some maximum level looks of it. Got the Stooks moving in. Bit counter push here. Pants with the popping off on grenade. Causing some harm there. T-54 is moving in. Asmo Stooks moving in here. This force back. Pants with the machine gun support holding the commissar up there. Stooks push back with some heavy damage. In the center, we got punishment. We got now CPUs moving in. This Stooks instead. In the west, we got a bit flank here. We're going to lose. And the stormtroopers. Heading up behind some of his units, they're going for an attempted one. There go, popping assault and hold to increase the damage done. Flak Panzer joining in there. It's a bit bold. Of course, I'm ignoring the potential there of him getting in a tank. And I don't even get the comms of squad, so that ends up being a bit of a uh, waste for me there as he takes out my Austrian now quite easily, though. I get a comms group squad, so I guess it's not a complete waste, but that was definitely. Could have been perhaps been done a bit better. They should have popped a tactical advance on the storm for this to increase my chance of getting rid of the Commissar squad there. Still, it ended up causing Fire Terror to retreat a lot of forces there and pull the way to the tank from the front. So, I guess it had some purpose, but it didn't quite end up as great as I would have liked it to be. I'm just left for the Stooks. This point, I'll probably just be here for Panzer Force. As for CPU, you see, we've got now to move here for Tier 4. Deciding he needs to bring up some of the bigger stuff. T Fed for rolling in there. Heavy engagement around the center. We've got 202 versus 463 victory points. And it is there hard at work. But there you go, T Fed of Wreck 1. There we go. We've got a Tilly Fire as well there from the field gun. we got 
Let's look forward again here for CPC on Alvadi and Fantas. Pop position there. Gonna do something with the camera. Taking here. Finally got Send Yama pissing around. Send, uh, expectation of inch support there, but uh, who knows? Might have a chance against the T54 doing a bit of extra damage. And there go goes down there. Not to the machine gun. That was the Stug blowing the uh, coup de grace there. Panzer on the way there. Field gun cleared out, but can't quite destroy it. Gonna be routed here. T54 infantry and field gun ring up to exploit the opening here. Machine gun doing what it can to stall the Soviet advance. Mortar joining in. We got the Panzer wing in there from CPE. Stoops are being repaired. And there you go. Field gun bombardment there on the machine gun. The tree already splintering. And the machine gun expires. A tragic loss for the fatherland. And he's looking to destroy it, obviously denying the machine gun to me. And these two machine gun crew wiped out. Looks like that was Ovadi's machine gun crew there that got snuffed out by a Panther Fort. Fine tag going for another T-34 from 6. He is not far off from the ISU 152. Takes out the Stugs. Panther Fort, they're also good to go. And he's reinforcing and healing. CPU is uh, heavy. He's yet to get his heavy panzer corps up here. Mortar there taking heavy damage and getting wiped out. A bit of a blow there to me. Panzer corps is the commissar squad there. Panzer corps moving in. Backed up with a Stug. Down here we got guns posted about the machine gun. Stormtroopers going to make for the center victory point. And there we go. We got the ISU 152 out here for Olvadi, adding the Pinnacle Mount machine gun to it. Stormtroopers moving ahead. They're closing in on the ace level. Very second here, far there, direct here on the Stormtroopers, almost there by the ISU 152, doing heavy damage, killing one poor soul, forcing an immediate retreat there for unsurprising reasons. Stoops moving in and joining a few shots here at the Stu. Pantafold being swarmed by infantry back up with the field gun, doing taking some heavy damage in there already. And a damaged engine that is not good. Infantry moving in in the right flank here. We got Stoop there. There's the T 46 almost taken out here. Hey, Pantafold, yep, you build up with CPUs. He's clearly too preoccupied with everything else. Gunny swing in the flank here of Fire and Terror's Assault here as he goes hard in. Rough nade off in the Maxim. Double rough nade, in fact. Panzer Fall, they're taking heavy damage. Got in the streets to draw fire, and also just assault fire. Maxim taking out the lean out of the field as closer to the Grenadiers. In the center, we've got the ISU hammering away there. One kill so far. Panzer Fall, they less than half health. And there you go. Field being routed by the Grenadiers. One to squat the order being suppressed with the Maxim. Coming up there from Ovadi's side. ISU continues to blast away there. Units being wiped out. Houses collapsing. Armor heavily damaged from these clashes. Moving out as rapidly as they can, and we got more pioneers on the way there for CPUs to probably help with repair, but also imagine to get the hey Panzer Corps up. Southeast, we got the eight command squad versus the Maxim. Ice shoot fires into the trench, doesn't get any kills, but does do a lot of damage. Need to get my pioneers to work, obviously. Then the storm swing, I've got the commissar out there in the open. 17 kills, ace level. Keep it from winning, at least we've got one to our back up from entrance. They try and push ahead here against Fire Terror. Tifid for snapping let the storm was causing some grievous casualties. Got the stoop going out. Now the Tifid for some six out there for Fine Terror. Ravani's eyes, you can turn around and shoot at anything remotely fascist. And this was the conscripts. Going ahead there. Panther Force needs repair. Stug in need of it as well, of course. Very, very, very badly. Pani has finally got the hair Panther Corps and connect to build a Panther right away, and that probably should be his priority. What with the ISU 152, but also just all those T-34s. Looks like, yeah, first looked like a tank had exploded, but it was just uh, 
some of the ambiance scenery. Still going up in the east here. We got Tifa possibly going to Panther on the way there for CPUEC and the Fatherland. So it's starting to become uh, much more in control here. Digging in. Stug moving ahead for the Fatherland. I've lost my Pantagon leader sadly almost as fast as I got them. Well, my Stormtroopers are now ace level with 19 kills to their names. I shoot 150 of the fighting machine gun misses, giving the machine gun time to get the hell out of there. Fighting around the northern field, picking up Pantagon, pushing back the conscripts. T-34 and 6, number 2 on the way, they follow Barbie. Fine take and soon go for a third one. They could also go for Catrucius, you could have issues five, you could have version sixes as well if you wanted to. I mean he's got a few options there. Stug going ahead there, Panther almost down there for CPU EC. Just a few more seconds, there you go. Panther come five and fifth, get fixed for eight. There we go, thirty for the force one six for fine terror. Assuming ahead, you can hit the blast away there at CPU EC's forces, they're missing a bit. Using a light machine with the moon straight into the jaws of the line there. Fire and Terry got the Panther Street running fire cover against all the infantry there. Fugue and Fine Way, Panther Ball, they're taking a lot of damage. Storm to dealing with the Soviets up close here. 22 kills. 23, but they're getting suppressed now. Got a Silver Firing down the maximum here though. And we got a Fragmentation Bomb corner as well to try and maybe finish off the job. Got the Panther flanking in there. Maximum dark, quite damage. Got this T Fed Force taking up being stunned here by the Fragmentation Bombs. T-34 gets down to half health Panther, taking a few hits, but mostly bouncing up. But there you go, we got Mark Little in there for Vardy, though the Austrian the Aust 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 can't quite cover against that, though. Panther falling back, infantry wiped out there for CPU EC. And now with a bit more chaos calls, I am trying to make a bit of a push here in the west. Got T-34 the covering up here as well on the right-hand side. There might also be an attempt to export chaos here on the west side. Field there being overwhelmed. Engineers wiped out here. Stukes firing with the machine guns and the main guns. Field gun crews are being slowly cut to ribbons. There you go, field gun crew annihilated. And there you go, T-34 kaput. Zerstört. Aircraft shot down. Possible other Panzer Force pin like machine guns. Another T-34, they're about to get taken out by the Stukes as they push forward. It's got the ice shoe moving in. Misses though, misses. Veterans one game the Stug. Panzer Force moving in there. Big gun. The anti-tank Overwatch call in here. Tiger weak point in the ISU. So he's made half and shoot. Got the T-Fed for flanking the Stoops. It's still raining down the Stoops as well. I'd actually forgotten it since I so rarely see NK with the Wrath of the Shrapnel there. So that completely caught me off guard there. Costing me both Stoops. Now uh, CPUs are going in there trying to get rid of that ISU since it can be very disruptive until it just continues to rain down. Hands forward down. Stuke gains virtually two there, but uh, that's not going to last much longer. He might get a T-34. Nope. Dead into the ice shoot gets away there. Fear guns are being wiped out. Panther doing coming. T-34 goes down. So heavy, heavy armor casualties on both sides, though. Ends up being the German suffering the most here. Fear gun there recruit as well for a bit of added anti-armor. At least we were able to push them away from the west side, but it came at a rather high price. I'm just going to quickly fill it up with Stuke since that's what I lost. And comparatively, CPUs did keep his Panther alive, so he might just go for more Panthers here. I'll wait just to choke with destroyed armor there, that narrow road. Some of these in the fire there, roughing it off against the Maxim. Digging in here, got the field gun ready to fight, covering fire there against any Soviet armor to slow down any of Fire and Terror's assaults. Eight kills in the eye, shoots second Sturm Geschütz in the way. Switching, forcing healing, back here the same as well for CPU Easy. Hey, finding around the Eastern Victory Pump, got 22 versus 245. Troops being suppressed, then Maxim hammering away. NKVD conscripts and to Maxim, they're charging force in the way. got the Storm Swimming in there, 23 kills. Grenade off. And retreat. Mortar continues to fight some life covering fire there. And Sagan Strug arrives once more. Maxim hanging about. 
directed in the Yeager command squad from the ICU 152. Troops pulling ahead here. And we got a big push for the body in the east, at least medium push with Garson and the T-34 from 6. Panther engaged by the T-34 from 6 in the west, taking heavy fire defense tanks. We've got Pioneers, got a needs to move forward still, couldn't get off a Panther fast. I shoot blast with numerous Pioneers, they gaining 10 kills. T-34, they're heavily damaged, got the troops pursuing there with the Panther for joining. For a quick armor kill there and fire and terror in the east. Olvadi gains control of the eastern victory point. Panther moving forward still to contest this very fat and we got Mark vehicle on my Panzer IV in the west and CPUs that bring up the second Panther realizing it's not going to come down to superior German engineering of the higher kind that bring up more Panthers we got to tank air support called in as well though without line of sight it's not going to matter too much it's very important to keep in mind there's not actually a lot of line of sight here so it could end up doing very little air for CPU EC in the end of course, my gun is not quite just enough here. Moving forwards here. Rough grenades off here and the Maxim field gun up north. Stukes hanging back. Mortifier raining down. Ice you firing at the German aircraft. And there you go. Got one going for a pass there. Landing some hits there on the Ice 152 actually. It seems like one has already been shot down. Fine by going for an air. Half track to go for some anti aircraft support there to shoot down the Kanonenfugen since he obviously does not want to risk losing any tanks with the ISU getting knocked out by that. Second Panther radio there for CPU Easy, putting him now at two Panthers. Maxim versus Maxim there, yeah, command squad moving against the Maxim there as well. Ground the center victory point with the stormtroopers. Fresh push in the west here by Fire and Terror. And at some point he did lose his comms our command squad. Storms are dealing with the oh yeah, command squad dealing with the uh, maximum that Panther blast off here on the T-34. It does do a lot of damage, got the Panther still forcing a bit back here. Field guns moving up in the west, backed up by conscripts. 149 versus 234. HT for the they're going in there for another east push, but we got the Panther still blocking the way. At that point, its experience does not matter too much against the might of the Panzer Kampfwagen 5th. Almost taking it out there. In the center, got infantry moving up, backed up by field guns. A slow push here by Fire and Terror. Now we got the half tech ready as well there. With its quad 50 caliber machine guns. Fun fact, the Serbs did have a similar mounting with Max machine guns mounted in an older truck. Storm for dealing with the Kamsk up close east of the can. Stuke there pushing back the T-34s from the 6. And straight into double field guns. That's going to be at least one Stuke down, though getting rid of the T-34s from the is going to help. Yup, Sturm Geschütz kaputt. And east here we got Ovadi slowly creeping ahead here with infantry support weapons and tank destroyers here against CPUs. He's rather dug in here around the hill to cover the victory point. In the center, fire and terror slowly pushing forward as well here. Field gun crew cleared out. Mortar there, veteran too. Consequence with a light machine gun. Ooh, field guns are about to get destroyed by the Soviets. And we got a Panzer part for CPU to find some fire support. There was all the Soviet support weapons. Panther taking heavy damage both the ISU and the HVD-5. The note, he's not switching over to armor piercing. He's just allowing to keep firing high explosive rounds. Panther is taking heavy damage with the field guns and the tank destroyers. Heavy damage into the Panther, in fact, falls away. And there you go, we got a T-54 for the King. Could take out. There you go, one Panther down. Big blow to CPU EC and the German army. I'm bringing up more Panther force. There you go, rams the T-54, or the Panther with his T-54 for some reason, hoping it might be able to destroy it. I'm not entirely sure what the logic is by this. It might just have been a reflex there for fire and terror. The enemy has destroyed one of our vehicles. Pat's shaking. He's not going to get it back alive anyway, so he might as well just ram and hope something good happens. I don't know. Hard to tell there. Another attempt to sort of sneak up on the flank here with some pioneers, cause a bit of harassment, maybe lay down some S mines on the tree path. Panzer Force Dukes moving in there to join in there as well. Again, I can't just keep finding up here in the finding in the centers, and that's not really what's going to help the Wehrmacht win this match. I feel like I need to flank, I need to maneuver again, I need to hit exposed weak units and sort of overwhelm them that way. And just regular slug out match, I feel like it's not going to be helpful, but it doesn't really fit my playstyle, anyways. 
So I'm trying to aim for maneuver here. And there you go. Panther moving up here. Direct hit. New, wiping out numerous conscripts and and KVD members there with a single hit from the Panzer IV. Though of course it also reveals I'm flanking up. There you go. Going to be swinging up. Well, I might just be able to exploit something on the left flank after all. If both field guns are gone, I can't really my armor. We got the C-54 system there for fine chest. There you go. For both field guns cleared out. Half up the flank here. Got the Stuga. Oh, the Panzer IV's actually moving in. The Stuga's a bit further behind. But there you go. Half track down. Big empty push here. Front fine terror. T-54 system in front of the Panzer IVs. I'm already pulling back. I'm a bit worried about the response from the RSU, though. Don't know. It's all the way O in the far east and can't help. Calling a fragmentation bomb in the hope of maybe taking out one of the field guns. If not both. Since I really don't want him getting them back. And there you go. One field gun destroyed. The other one, though, is operable. Duke's Panther IV hanging back. One veteran, two with Schutzen added. In the east there, already has got a strong point there. He's going to be forced to draw out from it, which means I have to do a lot more work on the left flank to never really force that to happen. Oh, I see. He's not going to have an easy time pushing through there. In the, like, infinite numbers of... Well, not infinite numbers of Panthers, but, you know, say a good number of Panthers. You know, he's going to still try to push through that head on. 85 versus 226. Panther, they're closing in at 2 in the center. Guards are taking heavy fire. Panther, they're moving up. Heavy damage to the guardsmen. Almost wiping them out. Almost all of them. T-54, some 6 moving in here. Ace level there still. 17 kills. In the center, comes there. Popping off an anti tank, make damaging my Panther 4. The bastards. CPU's here. Might be playing for another Panther. It's also replacing the infant losses. That is very good. Does he say good? Continue more to fire here. We got again another attempt to sneak up on the flank. Just constantly looking to find that opening and just exploit it. Which is essentially Stormtrooper dra Doctrine. You just basically f look for the weakest opening there and then you just exploit it with the maximum force and try to cause as much damage as you can before the opponent can sort of lock it down. Till the fire off here. Panther over there trying to stop the gas, but sadly it's a bit too late there. Otherwise, nice attempt by CPU Easy. Large engaging here, stormtroopers versus engineers and conscripts. End up retreating. I could have popped a smoke grenade, possibly dealt with it, but I don't want to risk more units joining in than, for example, a tank joining in. At which point I could risk losing the stormtroopers since I don't have enough anyways nearby to assist them. Pani is going to use them moving in. Panzer is almost good to go again. We can see that Olvadi is beginning to shift away from the far east to sort of move towards the center again there as he realizes things are eating up there, so that could open up the eastern side again for some flanking and harassment. Smoke's been here from a mortar to cover up the center and allow it more easy to take it. Can we use the Pani trying against the conscripts here? 27 kills on those. Really impressive work there once you, you know, get the main veteran and you manage to steal a light machine gun from the enemy. Got the armor moving up here. Got a T-46 moving in here as well. The Pani to retreat. Stu hanging back for now in sort of more reserve position. I can actually go for a can force myself. I could try and take up for tier fours. Or I could just go for more Stu's. I mean, all options on the table here. Unit wiped out though. Lost the Pioneer Squad, bring up another Sturmgeschutz. Another Mark vehicle here from Olvadi, this time on a Panther. Fragmentation bomb called in, right here to hit the maximum in the side of the trench. I see an opportunity, I try to take it. Almost, but not quite. Panther moving up on the left flank, got an infantry moving head, got the T-34 in the Of course, I need some instances of scatter head for the tanks. Be sure they don't get surprised by anything funny. And there you go, Cons rushing straight at it, but uh, then rushing straight away from it as they realize they can't actually damage the engines and they're up against two Panzer IVs with machine guns. Slightly out, but there you go, Field we got the flank, it was a bit too slow there. Smoke seems in the center again. Come these moving forward, second stroop almost done. And a massive Panther barrage here from Fine Town in the hopes of catching the field guns off guard and well, he shot them slightly off, but not quite. Now the aircraft shot down. There we go. T-54 charges in there. It's willingly to apparently sacrifice his best T-54 to take out the Panther, which really hadn't done a lot there. I'm not entirely sure that's the best move there by Olvadi, to be honest. Since, while well, they roughly cost the same, I mean, the HT-54 could just do so much more damage, I feel, than the Panther there. Of course, it also caused some confusion on the line, so maybe if you need know, more... To follow up on that, it wouldn't break, but as you can see, they don't actually have a lot to follow up with on that initial push, so I don't think that was a particularly good move there by Olvadi to just charge in his 
best T34 because I think can actually do a lot of damage very fast in the right conditions. So I think it would be more worth them just you know keep it alive and allow the Panzer ever to live. But that's just me. Storms coming ahead here, 30 kills. Can't got close. They're being quickly routed as they obviously cannot stand against such infantry threats. Mortifying down in the gas from Maximum Singer. I'd feel them being hit there. The soldiers definitely focusing everything on the push here for the center now. Now the Panzer one away from me, bringing up to five armored pieces. They've lost the Gundir squad. I probably should consider replacing some of those infant losses. Storms are almost taken now. Mortify continues to rain down. We got the mortar there, eventually 312 kills. I shoot there with 18 kills, close to eventually 2. Another T34, 76 in the way for Olvadi. Fine with 2. Lining up for a big push into the west again. Again, they're focusing it from the west, so again, if I can pull it off, it could prove to be quite devastating as again, the entire west side is open. Now he's got to push it with a maxim. No, he's also using ambush camouflage in that one since it also benefits from him. And again, ambush camouflage is just a really solid ability to be honest. Falling back here, they're going to kind of feel like the momentum is lost and also a bit worried about what's going on in the center. Also, perhaps I just also want to wait for that third Panzer IV. Maximum engaging the other Max. Note he's also using the sustained fire ability. That's actually the first time I've seen someone use that one, I think. And that's a German player using it on a maximally stolen. Another Panther running there for CPUC. From an overall thumbs up there, so CPUC was good use of ambush. Lost, though, the Ace Maxim crew there. That's an absolute shame there. Bet you two there, 24 kills. Second Panther there ready for the Fatherland. Panthers ready, we got a big push here, possibly lining up there with three Panther Force, two Stukes, two Panthers. Got Assault and Hold going up there as well. Note are using it combined with the smoke screen to just grab the center victory point swiftly. Mortifying down in the Maxim. There we go, he's moving in with the Panthers. We haven't quite coordinated this, but I just read the situation and realized, hang on, there's an Assault going on. If he's coming in that far, I definitely need to get moving as well here. The guards really called in to try and disrupt the Panthers' push here for the ISU. They're doing heavy damage there. In the center, my Stukes and Panthers charging into the Panther Force are moving in to deal with the field guns and whatnot. The Stukes just barrel straight through. They're looking to just cause as much disruption as they go for the armor. Also drawing away attention from the Panther Force, I hope. But it's not quite working out there. Panther Force down. T-34 almost down. Stukes, they're down there again. Just getting absolutely shattered by that artillery again. I forgot... Second time in the match it existed. That's not good, by the way. That is not good. But it shows you just how few people actually use NKBD rather disruption. More importantly, even fewer use it in the two versus two match. But you can see they can be absolutely devastating and prevent you against, you know, these sort of massive pushes there because if not been for that ability, they probably would have suffered a lot worse. Still in the end, took out the ice shoe there. And I still got two Panzer Force, he still has a Panther. And he did lose some other stuff, I mean. Fine chair did end losing most of his field guns and other things. I mean, it's not quite like they got completely unscathed, unscathed out of this, even with the anti tank overwatch. Ace Panther, by the way, there. Oh, no, he's trying to take out the T-54, but might risk losing the Ace, which I would say is good. Leaving an opening there. Might he try and go for his T-54, take out the Ace Panther? Hard to say there. Panther Force looming ahead, destroying the field guns. I could actually make another push here, in particular with a bit of infantry support. Maybe summon in some stormtroopers to poke ahead for them. Panther being hauled back, and we got more pioneers. Plus, Panzer going to use this time around here for CPU easy. <coughs> yeah, absolutely mad cap assaults here with tanks. Obviously, probably also had an infantry back up my big armor push there. I didn't, so that was obviously well, not a lot of infantry, anyways. Not enough to really make a difference. Got Storms are dealing with the Garfman over here. 32 kills, and there you go. Assault and hold again. I really cannot stress just how good this ability is. NQD charging the Pioneers. Grenade off. Gonna do something up there. 45 kills, but again, apparently it's just like Assault and hold. But also, like, the thing is, while most people don't think about it, they actually can do a lot of damage. Gonna do once upgrade with this veteran score. Speed upgrade. Just, it's not a lot of damage very fast, but just on average over a longer fight, a veteran Gunadier squad will 
generally do a lot more damage to them in light machine guns. They just don't have the burst capability, if you will. They just don't have the burst capability. But again, they just, on average, do a lot more damage. Though it probably also helps there's a lot more conscripts to this fight, which of course tends to also just drop off more casualties and all these. It's just a really long match. I mean, we're slowly approaching one hour here. More stormtroopers out there. Could have gone for Punch Gunner D again. He's going for the Western Point. T Fed falls from 6, charging 40. We've got another ISU out there for Vardy and the 50 guards make a nice call. Panzer Falls moving in here. Close to the ace level here. I'm actually playing too far, and I'm not. Just couldn't quite remember. And for the running back, red hits here from the HD5, which Fante has finally brought up. Mortar got wiped again, and now we've got Storm coming up here. 49 points left here for the Soviets. Panther coming up in the flank. Again, Ace Panther there from CPUs. Really good work then, keeping him alive for that long. Flanking there, the T-34 from 6. Another hit there, excellent. Gonna lose Ming 4, it's good Panther Force here, the T Fed Force from the 6th line to be knocked out by the Ace Panther, whatever. Panther Force hanging back there, awaiting repairs. Armor charging forwards here, Panther can to sort of blast away. Mark vehicle again. T Fed Force charging forwards, just to grab points, and at this point, desperate. Need to buy as much time as possible, so he's willing to sacrifice the T-34 from 6 just to have a chance to buy a few more seconds. So of course, I sense this one Panther Force to go in there. Ace Panther for all their game, got the issue 5 opening up as well, pulling back the damage Panther. Panther moving into assist, nice work there by CPU. You see, really good uh, supportive teamwork there by him. Thumbs up for that one as well. Almost got the issue 5 here though, taking hits there from the ISU 152. And there you go, HD5 down that. Panther's an absolute on an absolute bender here. Almost taking out the T Fed Force from 6 there as well. Thirty-six kills on the Panther. We'll bring up more Sturmgeschütz again. Back here, troops healing and forcing. Oh, they aren't healing really because they're full size. Oh, they're fully really full healed. There you go, another Sturm Geschütz out. 24 versus 150. They have managed to stop the bleed actually for now. And an impressive effort there by Ulvardi and Fire and Terra. I think it's for how long it lasts. We got a fresh counter attack here from the Gunnadiers. Panzer 4 moving in there. So, right, additional anti infantry support here. T 54 wreckage seizes the actor's cover there for the Soviet infantry. We got their propaganda there to try and push away the fascists. Damage engine, the pa East Panther 4 there, 39 kills. 52 kills on the Gunnadiers there. And another assault and hold. 53. 54. Great hit on the there by the field gun, T-Force coming in. 57. Panther 4 gaining match into one, Gunnadiers trying to clear out the field gun here perhaps. Big push on this East here as well, we got 24 versus 24. Panther strikes out now here from CPU's direct hit from the ISU almost takes out the entire unit. Storms from the flanking in though. Again, with assault and hold for increased accuracy there and increased damage. The field and crew there's gonna melt away then, particularly once the ace unit gets close enough. And there you go, you might notice they are dying rapidly. In fact, I end up ignoring it and going for the conscript behind it. There you go, wiped out immediately. T54 they're in trouble now. Storms is slaughtering the conscripts. T-54 is almost done. I should hear blasting away at CPU's forces. He's struggling a bit to push through his panther. That is almost ready to go again. T-54 kaput. Sovietish Panzer is shirt. 39 kills on the ace panther. Force should get that going forward. So we got 24 versus 111. 110. Got the maximum hunting about here in the tree line. Smoke's going to get on the center. Storm was going to lose moving forwards. Panther moving up for support. Thirty-five kills. Great hit from the Panzer IV, putting it to forty-two kills. Got the teeth and wink on his armor taken out. Just desperate defense here by the Soviets. Forty-three kills on the Panzer IV. Stomps were looking to flank up behind here. 
We may have to retreat soon. Grenade off there from Fine Terror. 100 points left. More farming down the infantry moving up here. Enemy our At least Panther almost good to go again here for CPU easy. Gartanisa taking heavy hits. Grenade off against the Gunnadies doesn't quite hit. Panther moving forward to their seven kills. Damage ending in the ice room, and the Panther can flank in there. Good armor charge in the west here. Stu backing up the two Panther force there. So the infantry support is building off there. Panther continue normal to back to our Panther 4 and infantry on the east side. T54 is going to try and ram it. Pack 40 being hold forward here by Olvadi. And for some reason, I'm uh, pulling back here. Possibly a bit worried about what's going on. Somewhere, can't quite tell. Maybe you want to cause support here. My teammate, of course, could have just gone this way. I'll wait towards the center now. We got another Mark V block here from Olvadi. We got 23 points left from these moving in here. Armor moving forward here, taking it. Now. It, you know, exploiting the fact they're all focusing on the Panther and what's going on in the east is they're moving from the west pretty hard. Panther Force charging in the game behind the ICU there. Panther fast off as well. And there you go, the ICU goes down. Finally. 16 points left, empty being annihilated here by the Panther Force. 52 kills. 53. And there you go, Ovadi and Fire and Terra surrenders. GG, game over. A brutal 2 vs 2 right here on Rails Metals, almost an hour long. With a lot of damage done on both sides in the end. I didn't quite do as much damage as CPUs as I did. They had a bunch more killing at slightly lower costs. As you might notice again, the gun it is, as you can see there. They can do a crap ton of damage. Like, that's the thing about veteran scoring the gun it is, but you think most people aren't aware of again, like. They do a lot of damage. Like it just it doesn't happen like very fast though. And I think that's what deceives most people. But again, like on average, whenever I play a match you near know, the veterans gonna do this, you know, the squad leaders, they will always be, you know, the infantry that does above everyone else a lot of damage. So that's a little detail. I mean the stomps, of course, you can see they did quite well, but again, they just don't compare with the more just long term solid output they have a gun deer squad with the veteran squad leader upgrade. Like it just does a lot for them. Of course, and then the Panther Force did well, the Stoops did well, there you can see this well. I mean, it's not like everything else just misperformed, but again, it just getting it is for the Veteran Squad lead upgrade, just do a lot of damage. So, there you go. I hope you enjoyed this match. I've learned to inform it. If you did, subscribe, like, share, comment on it, tell your friends, tell your family, but don't tell your enemies. This is Imperial LinkedIn. Cheers. Thank you for watching all the wonderful audience. If you like what I do, you can donate by way of Pledge and Patreon. Links are in the description. This is Imperial LinkedIn. Cheers, and thank you for watching. Bye.